What's up guys, the Duck Opinion here, and check this out. Ducks can fly! Whoa! Those are uh, TNT grenade launcher type thingies. And uh, I'm going to attempt to make one and show you guys how it's done. We're going to use a Sibian. And uh, apparently they're like 7x7, seven, seven seven, so let's do this. And they also need kind of, they need kind of a bottom piece. So we're going to do 7x7, seven seven. so that's 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, it's 4, 5, 6, 7, and then by 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we're going to make this 7x7, seven seven. and we also, wait, let Wonder Shade's going to do one. Ducks can fly, oh, see? Those things are so cool. So we, we, we're going to make these 7x7, seven seven, and it's pretty cool. And let's see here. I guess it technically doesn't matter where you build the uh, the actual leather to it, but we're gonna go underwater, and it needs kind of a bottom. It needs a bottom for the TNT to be placed. So let's build a bottom. Like I know that I haven't done tips and tricks for Minecraft in a while, and I know you guys probably know how to make these already. But you know, I didn't exactly know how to make these until Runner Shade made it. So. We're gonna, you know, thank you Runner Shade for showing us how to do this. I know I probably could have looked it up. I mean, I probably could have figured it out. We made tons of these, but nonetheless, man, nothing like having a cool theme bark to kind of show it off. So I guess we need one in the middle. Hmm. That right there is a, uh, a, a sab, though. Let's try it with this just to, just to see if it works. I don't know. It might work this easy. His has a, he has like a slab in the middle and the water's kind of flowing. I don't think the water needs to be flowing or you need to w w use a sab. So let's try it. Okay, I never made one of these four. They're still over there doing it. I think they're going to blast together, but let's blast first before they blast together. And let's see if mine worked. Oh, ducks can fly so there you go that was my first tnt launcher i've ever made so that's pretty cool are these guys gonna launch or is it just me oh these guys are doing a lot these guys are like doing a double one <laughs> i don't know how all those work but that's how you make the basic one i mean you you can pretty much i guess build them on top of each other and get higher and higher and higher with more and more tnt which these guys are trying to do but they can't oh, 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 oh. i spoke too soon here they go. Let's see what they say. If you're, if you're in creative mode, it does absolutely nothing. <laughs> that is a actual very good tip. Yeah, man, if you're in creative mode, you know, you, just, you can't be flying. You kind of just got to be standing on it. Or it's going to mess you up. But don't forget to refill the TNT when you're done. And that's how you make a TNT launcher, which I actually think is pretty boss mode and if you guys like it give the video a thumbs up and uh yeah man if you got any more tips and tricks for us we'll make them and uh as always ducks can fly peace <laughs>